how to use Wix hover boxes. Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video today, I'll be showing you guys how you can create hover boxes on Wix, which can appear on top of your Wix site and promote different offers such as discount sales, clearances, or newsletter sign up coupons as well. And these hover boxes have a really particular function and can help you in increasing your newsletter subscribers, gathering more leads and being able to follow up on abandoned carts and abandoned customers. So let's jump right in. To get started with creating our hover boxes on Wix, we will go into the Wix website editor. Now I have this website for my portfolio that I have created using Wix. In this particular site, I have a really simple layout and to make things more interesting and to maybe highlight a particular service that I might be offering, I want to use a hover box. Now, how can you access hover boxes in the Wix website editor? To do that, click on the add elements section on the left. Once you do that, you will see the section called box and under boxes, you will have the section called hover boxes. So these are hover box templates available. Now, you're going to take out any template that you prefer. You can actually convert a simple box into a hover box, but more on that later. So choose a box that you like. Let's say it's this one. Now, if I place this over here, you guys can see this section is basically going to hover. Now, if you take a look at the hover effect, you can click on hover and you have the container box. Now you can play the hover effect and what it's going to look like. Now you can also click on choose effect and choose a particular type of effect how you want this to appear. So you can click on choose effect and even add a combination of effects. If I wanted to scale up, if I wanted to rotate a little, if I wanted to skew a little or have a particular starting point. Now, this is the animation that we have created in our hover box. Now you can click on exit hover mode and proceed with the design of your hover box. So for us, I want to maybe resize this a little. And I'll just make it slightly smaller. And because the size is based upon an image, we are going to zoom out the image and I'll just click on cancel over here. And I will click on change image over here. Now I will add my own image. You can upload your own images. I'll just be using another stock image from Wix, but we're going to be adding this image over here like so. Now, after that, I can click on edit text. If I want to include my own text style on the hover box, I can go on ahead and click on add elements on the left and choose my own text. You might wonder, hey, if I add the text, won't it, you know, move around? If I move around the box, the text won't move around. To do that, just simply add the text and you will attach that text to the box. It's really simple and Wix has a lot of intuitive elements that automatically sync things together. So first off, I'll add my own text such as maybe something simple, learn makeup for your face type or something along those lines. I'll just go on ahead, edit this box. And you can add separate animations even within the hover box. But one thing to note is that I find that to be a bit too overwhelming when you do that. So if I show you guys a preview of what this would look like, this is what the hover box looks like. So if you drag your mouse over it, it's going to give, you know, the secondary slide or the animation effect. I'm going to go back and we're going to continue with our editing. Now, firstly, I am going to click on change design and we have different box designs, but we are going to go into our options and then we're going to go into settings now in the settings you will see your first image then you can choose your reset image proportions where does it link to what is this image then we have the design options where we can customize the design we can also make it more cropped if we want so if we want to decrease the size of this you're just going to have to crop this a little like so and i'll crop this quite a bit because i don't want this to be so large and i'll just add that over here like so and once I've done that, I'll place my heading text here. And now that I have completed that, I will click on over here. And if you do a right click, you can even attach this to a box. So I'm going to take this section, which is our regular section. And from here, what we're going to do is we're going to add our interaction. 
edit the interaction and then choose your secondary image. So I'll click on change image and the secondary image, I again will be using media from Wix and this is going to be makeup. And we are going to add something like this. Now, once I click on choose image, this will be my second image and you can actually alter the rotations of these as well. So I can click on crop and I can choose the crop that I want for this image. And once we do that, we are going to proceed with our animation. So for my animation, I want the rotation effect. Now, what I'm going to do is again, we are going to go into our design. And for our design, a circular design works well, but I might want this to be outlined to be more dramatic and to grab more attention. Now, after this, what I'm going to do is we are going to click on overlapping items and then I will click on the page, section, image, container box and image. I think this looks pretty fine right now. And let's go on ahead and take another preview of what the hover looks like so we can adjust it. Now, I have to edit the text over here. So I'm going to go back into my editor. And once we go back into the editor, it's time to click on the text. And once you click on the text, you will see I'm going to delete this first and I'll add another text element by going into text. And we're just going to add a small title. Now I'll add learn your makeup style. And then after that, I'm going to edit the text and I'll edit the font sizing as well. And I'll add a space like this to decrease the text box. And now I'll place it over here. And you can click on attach to box to attach this to the box as well. So like so, we have placed this over here. Now in this, we can further customize. We can choose the timing. We can choose the design and effect of the hover as well. You can also see the option to alter the rotation. We also have the option to add a different rotation for each individual element. Now I might want to change the direction like this. So we can choose a different direction. That's totally up to the person creating. Now let's take our final preview and we can launch our new hover box on our Wix site. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that I have taught you within this video. And make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well. And to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites. So I hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if I missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and I will catch you guys in the next video.